In this particular video, we are discussing three tools and techniques which are frequently used in most of the quality management processes. They are very simple, so I thought of clubbing them all together and making a one video out of these three. Let's look at the first tool and technique called checklist. So as a project manager, you must be working with many checklists. You may have a checklist for development, you may have a checklist for testing, you may have a checklist for requirement. Now what is the essence behind checklist? When we do something very very frequently and we know that there are few set of things need to be need to be followed all the times and there is a probability that you may miss some of it. So what do you do? You create a simple points, list of points and you, you yourself ask to you as well as to your uh, team members to go through those points whenever they work on that particular area. Something like when you are leaving for office from your home you might have your own checklist in your mind. Before you leave, leave the, the, the home, you may think of, do I have my mobile phone with me? Do I have a keys with me? Do I have, uh, have the bag with me? And do I have my watch with me? Something like this. So this is like you have a, some pretty set of questions which you go through all the time whenever you move from home and that's your checklist. Now, as things becomes complex, you may not rely only on your mind and you create these lists so that people can adhere to it without fail. So it could be a simple list of points. You may have a point one that I, I, I check that have I done something A, then you have a point two, then you have a point three. And whenever you finish this particular work, you just make sure that you have done this particular work and you are good with it. Something like when you are packaging a particular gift, uh, for, for, for supplying to someone, you may have a checklist that have I packed the gift, have I put the wrapper, have I put the uh, uh, intended message on it and if everything is done, the, the checklist is complete, the gift packaging is complete. So it just makes uh, uh, the process more adherable and helps you to build quality inside the process. So you don't have to, to find out something later because you, this checklist help you to, to make sure that you do things uh, at the right time only. Check sheets. So check sheets is more like an observation. They are not checklists. Say in your, uh, uh, you are running a restaurant and you want to ensure the quality in the restaurant and periodically every day you do some auditing reviews and you observe number of occurrence of particular thing. Say this is more like you have some areas which are area of concern. So in a restaurant you may want to see that uh, customer complaint. So you may want to look at the area where customer complaints are mentioned, okay? Then you may want to see the area of, of say, waste. You may want to see some more areas. So something like uh, cleanness. So is my restaurant uh, cleanliness or how many tables are clean? So number of table clean, number of table not clean. So number of tables not clean. So something like this. Now on a daily basis or periodic basis you go and visit this thing and you put a date one here and you write the occurrence of these things. So it's like you have some critical areas which you want to monitor and on a daily basis, on a day to day basis, on a day two day, three day, four, you see how many of those occurrence exist. So it is more like checking against predefined points, the, 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 the finding of number of evidences which shows that this problem still exists. So like uh, you, you go to, you are, you are running a small, small team and you try to find out that how many people came late, how many people came uh, without wearing the shoes and with how many people came without bringing their lunch box with, you, with, you, with, with them. Assuming that you are running a small uh, kid in garden class. So that could be your check sheet where every day you check that how many people came late, how many people came without lunch box and how many people came without wearing the shoes. Assuming these are the three critical areas which you want to monitor in your kid in garden students and that helps you uh, to find out what can you do about it. It's like a check sheet. Matrix diagram. So matrix diagrams are primarily used to, to see the, the relationship among two variables. Many times you see a distance related thing. Its matrix is something which is, which is matrix. Just it has rows and it has columns. Something like this. Now, 
you may you may have some areas here and some areas here and see that how they relate with each other uh, how they influence uh, 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 each other so it's like uh, uh, you may talk about that there is a matrix and uh, say uh, office environment so you may say that how the office environment impacts the productivity uh, the 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 satisfaction something like this so you may think of office environment improves the productivity high impact on satisfaction on a moderate something like this so you may have some variables here some set of things here and you can see how they relate with each other so it's not necessary that only we tell that it impacts it we can also give a scale of it like 1 to 10 or high medium low and and these kind of things so it can be used in this particular way you might have seen a matrix which shows distance between two cities that you have a cities here you have a cities here then you pick up your city and then you find out another city and then you can say okay this is the distance between these two cities so in a simple way that when we have a multiple variables and we want to see how these variables relate with each other we might be able to present that data as well as analyze that data using the matrix diagrams so these are the three tools and technique i wanted to talk in this particular video